uh, Vintage Lord Canada. This is the top 10 uh, Hell's Kitchen cards in my collection, which are Daredevil, Kingpin, Punisher, and Elektra. So I have some honorable mentions first before I get into the top 10. Uh, these are some from the 2015 Marvel Vibranium. This is a raw, beautiful card. Myself and Marvel Madness Josh, uh, we really love the Vibranium. Uh, so I don't think it gets the love it deserves, but uh, very beautiful set. I'm happy. I have the rainbow minus the bar card, which is out of five, and the printing plate book printing plates, but uh, this is really nice. You have the molten out of two ninety nine, great color match. We have the refined out of ninety nine. This is number nine out of ninety nine, real nice. Cracked ice look. I was able to pick up three of these over the last few years because I like it so much and uh, love the Daredevil image on it. So that is the Refined. We have the Radiance, which is out of 50. Got two of those picked up. These are really nice. Okay, that's honorable mention. Another honorable mention, we have a Ben Affleck autograph card. This is from the original Daredevil movie with himself and Jennifer Garner. She's supposed to be, they're both supposed to be maybe making a comeback in the Secret Wars movie or the Deadpool uh, versus Wolverine make an appearance. But this is a really nice one to have. Ben Affleck doesn't autograph a whole lot of Daredevil cards, so uh, it's really nice to have that in the collection. Here's from Marvel Platinum. I was part of a box break with uh, Lonzo Collectibles and Matt Fuller. And I picked Kingpin, and uh, this is what I hit out of 35, cover variant, purple pixel. Number two out of 35, really nice in hand. Great uh, card to pick up. We have some PMGs. This is from 2017, Flare Ultra Spider-Man. We have two reds and a blue. So really happy to have these in the collection. Okay, those are the honorable mentions. Now we have number 10. We have Electra Daredevil's uh, love interest and girlfriend, and they fought many battles together. So this is a PSA 8. Picked this up from uh, Scandell Cards a couple of years ago. Very happy to have it in the collection. Great color match. Really nice. So that was number 10. We have number 9. We have another Electra. This is from the Marvel Gems. And this is from 2016. We have a jambalaya, not a jambalaya, but a jambalaya. A uh, different shape card, but these are really nice. So did this in a trade with uh, Spidey Hits uh, around two years ago. I think he pack pulled this. Or no, he got it in a trade with someone and then I ended up trading him a card. So really happy with this image and the card itself. So that was number nine. Number eight, we have from the 1966 Marvel Don Russ set. But I like these two because they're puzzle piece uh, head and chest of Daredevil. Very happy to have it. And in front, uh, this card itself is the first appearance of Spider-Man on card. And uh, another Spider-Man in the front, but very happy to have that. That was number eight. Number seven, I uh, don't have too many sketch cards in my collection, but uh, this one here happens to be Daredevil and uh, from the very talented Tony Perna. Look at that. I got that part, got this in a secret scent of uh, Marvel Bandits this past winter. So thank you, Tony. Great job. Look at the image there. Look at the birds, the buildings, Daredevil itself. Amazing. And that's from Tony Perna, Perna Studios. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Okay. Now we have Punisher 2017 Fleur Ultra Spider Man, Jambal Jambalaya. Very beautiful card in a slab mag, black slab mag. This is SGC8. Really nice, very happy to have this. This is my favorite uh, Punisher card in my collection. Wish it was a little bit of higher of a grade, but I'm not gonna complain. So, And we have two printing plate booklets from uh, Spider-Man Metal. We have, have here, we have the High Series. Oops, for a second. And we also have the low series printing plate booklet, Wilson Fisk. Love these printing plate booklets. 
So I was very happy to be able to pick up both of these separately, but uh, only negative is uh, this printing plate booklet, as you can see, uh, tip of his face is sort of cut off, but I'm not gonna complain. Printing plate booklets aren't easy to find, so, and this goes with great with my collection, so awesome. I got that last printing plate booklet from uh, Lewis, Alonzo Collectibles, uh, a few months back. So very happy with that. And now we have number four. We have from, from Fleer Ultra Spider-Man 2017. We have Daredevil 8.5 PMG Red. Really nice, very happy. I got this uh, from Marvel Madness a few years back. I'm gonna probably crack this out. It's got a little bit of damage there on the corner, but uh, put this in a PSA. Pretty good grade, 8.5. Um, like I said, great color match. So beauty to have in the collection. Okay, now we got the top three. Um, I also got this in a deal with the Lonzo Collectibles Lewis. This is the only uh, platinum portrait I have in my collection. It's of Wilson Fisk. And this is a PSA 8 platinum portrait. Real nice. Very happy to have this in my collection. I'm going to try to find more platinum portraits. Um, they did a great job on these. So, Okay, now my top two. Uh, there's two cards in the top two, actually. Or there's two cards at number two. They're both Jambalayas, and they're both of Daredevil. And uh, both pretty good grades. Mint 9, Mint 9. And one's from 2015, Fleur Retro. Other uh, from 2017, Fleur Ultra Spider-Man. Um, I guess I'm a big fan of the uh, Jambalayas. This is probably my favorite uh, Jambalaya of all the ones uh, I have in my collection. But... Yeah, they both go great. This one I got from uh, Marvel Madness in a trade. This one I got from uh, Scandal Cards, Stephen Candell. So thank you, Stephen. So those are number two. And number one, I got this sent off to uh, CGC before they switched uh, labels again. I got the blue label, original, 8.5. And this is from 2014 Marvel Premiere. This is Shadow Box card, classic covers, Daredevil's first... Uh, comic book cover so very happy to have this yeah the shadow box cards are really sweet so i've got a few in my collection and I'm very happy to have this one graded and with the cgc blue label so so yeah these are the top 10 and some honorable mentions in my collection so i uh, hope you guys got some enjoyment out of this video and uh put in the comments if you guys like these cards or uh, what you would try to go after if you were a daredevil or hell's kitchen collector and uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe, please. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, one more thing I'll show you. With those printing plate booklets, I do have a couple ones to go with it. We have the purples, low and high. We have the red PMGs and of the turquoise out of 50, number two out of 50. So these go great with those printing plate booklets and uh, very happy to have that in my collection. So, okay, guys, take care. Talk to you soon.